Hello and welcome to the Pro Forma Models Dynamic Retail Business Plan 3 Statement Model with Levered and Unlevered Return Calculations. The README tab states the model purpose, highlights common use cases, and provides an overview of functionality, formatting, and all of the unique modules within the model. This tab also provides additional documentation, contact information, and a summary of additional products and services available from Pro Forma models to support your analysis needs. This model can be used to analyze the financial return of an established or startup business using a three statement model. The Pro Forma tab contains all user entered and selected assumption and calculations. The Assumptions section begins with general business and analysis inputs for version control and organization. Investment and financing assumptions, including fixed asset investment and working capital, valuation multiple, and target distribution yield, are entered next. Please note there are detailed descriptions beside each assumption line item to assist with your model preparation. Financing assumptions are entered next, including the loan-to-value, equity contribution, and interest rate. This assumption section also includes the option to draw or repay debt and equity to adjust your capital stack throughout the analysis period. The income statement assumptions are entered next. This includes all revenue, cost of goods sold, and expense assumptions. Please note the expense line items are highlighted as input cells as they can be customized to your use case. If a different line item label is needed, the income statement in the model will automatically update. The income statement assumption sections also includes inputs for the amortization and depreciation expense, tax rate, and annual expense inflation assumptions. The balance sheet assumptions, including key asset and liability turnover ratios as well as capital expenditures, are entered next. As a reminder, detailed instructions are provided beside each assumption input to assist and guide your analysis. A sources and uses table is calculated based on the investment and financing assumptions you entered. This table neatly summarizes how funds will be allocated on inception and the source of the capital. The returns are highlighted next and organized into standardized and neatly designed tables that detail the net cash flow, yield, internal rate of return, and multiple of capital. The first return section provides the unlevered cash flow and investment metrics, while the second return section provides the levered cash flow and investment metrics. The valuation section of the model presents the earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization and calculates the gross and net valuation. The net valuation is equal to the gross valuation less the outstanding debt balance. The income statement is calculated based on the user entered and selected assumption inputs. The income statement starts with revenue and deducts cost of goods sold to calculate the gross profit. The gross profit is further reduced by operating expenses to calculate the earnings before taxes. Following a deduction for taxes, the net earnings by year is presented. The balance sheet is calculated next based on the parameters you define through the assumption inputs. Please note that the Pro Forma Models Business Plan model does not utilize any plugs for any of the three statements created in the model. The model calculates key asset, liability, and shareholder equity accounts and includes a balance sheet check to ensure that assets are equal to liabilities plus shareholder equity. The statement of cash flow is presented next detailing the total operating cash flow, investing cash flow, and financing cash flow. As a reminder, there is no use of plugs anywhere in the three statement model and all figures in the statements are generated based on the assumptions you define as well as support schedule calculations. The statement of cash flow section concludes with a reconciliation of the opening cash balance, 
the periodic net change in cash, and the closing cash balance. As we continue to mention, there are no plus utilized in the three statement model. Plugs are avoided through the use of supporting calculations. The supporting schedules include a calculation of net working capital, amortization and depreciation, as well as the debt schedule. The debt schedule includes the ability to repay debt or draw additional proceeds as well as the calculation of the periodic interest charge. The data validation tab contains all controlled lists within the model and can be customized to your specific use. The output tab provides the model output in a high-level and actionable analysis summary that is preformatted to be printed and or saved as a PDF. The output report starts with a data table and visual presentation of the sources and uses based on the business and capital stack you defined. The next section highlights key investment returns in a data table as well as the visualization. The investment metrics highlighted include the yield, internal rate of return, and multiple of capital. The valuation section of the output report outlines the annual earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization as well as the gross and net valuation. The net valuation is equal to the gross valuation based off the EBITDA multiple less the outstanding debt balance. The information is presented as a data table as well as a line chart. The valuation section is followed by the income statement summary highlighting the gross profit, earnings before taxes, and net earnings. The income statement summary data table is also presented as a line chart to visualize the earnings trend. The balance sheet is then summarized on an annual basis into the consolidated asset, liability, and shareholder equity categories. The information is presented as a neatly organized data table as well as visualized as a line chart. The final section of the output report is the cash flow summary showing the annual operating, investing, and financing cash flow as well as the annual ending cash balance. The information is organized as an easy to understand data table as well as a line chart. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this pro forma models walkthrough and encourage you to visit our website to try the model for yourself.